control grip. You don't have to do the control grip if you are proficient with a t continental grip or whatever grip you have, as long as you can do the magic angle. If you can do the magic angle with your consistently with your current grip, you don't need it, but the ping pong grip is better. What? It's sweat. That's your sweat. Maybe it's the, I don't know. So Lisa's gonna try my paddle, which I prefer the original Electrum Pro because it has the widest, the widest paddle on the market, eight and a half inches. Cause a lot of this is using the width of the paddle and not the length. So really try to get this angle going. Overdo it. I think it's more, I think you don't get cocked enough. That's why I think it doesn't oh. go. I think you're trying to make it happen with Wrist. a flat grip and it can't. So it's gotta be basically really cocked up. That's why I like to do this and lay it over. Cause look at that thing's cocked right there, right? That's, that's, <laughs> see, it's pretty much it. See how it's back spinning yeah. and arcing. So now just loosen your hand. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know it's so tight? <laughs> I can see, I can see the white of your knuckles. <laughs> So you're taking this big up, down chop where it's set low and up. Cause you have this looping arc on your swing, which is cool. It does cool stuff, but consistency won't be there. Cause it, now you got to time your arc with the pace of the ball and everything else. So it's just low set and up set lift set lift set lift get that angle you're flat super flat uh, like that it was like this that means you're like this but like this it's this with this loosen the grip paddle to the ground and up I'd rather think that you're gonna to touch the ground. That's it. That's it. And lift. That's it. Boom, we got it. Lesson over. So now, yeah, keep it angled. There you go. So down to the ground and lift. That's it. That's it. And try to keep that ball in front of you if you can. But yes, with that drop step you're doing. So if we can drop step, we can pretty much get any ball. So that's a big part of this system is this drop step. That's it right there. Okay, I gotta get, get ready early. Okay, yes. A lot of foot movement. But not hard foot movement. I mean, you're just moving big drop step or big drop step and coming back. And then if it's right on front of me, I just let it like skip hop. I drop step when it's on my side, drop step. So be careful about looping. Go low and lift, low, lift. Set the paddle, lift. Set the paddle, lift. Set the paddle, lift. Cause you can do two hands with this too. And it's actually does some cool stuff. Some hidden stuff. Careful about going too flat. Set and lift. There you go. 
and that's where this grip, comfort grip, or control grip, I'm sorry, control grip really works on these shots that just come over the net that people pop up all the time because I call it the pancake. I just open it up like a pancake and then with a, a heavy enough paddle. Oh. I like people to have a heavier paddle, probably at least, at least eight ounces for a, a less strong person. I play with nine ounces and I'll probably go to 10. And all three, I have three of the same exact paddle that's set up the same exact. So I can switch throughout a day and they'll all be the same. Because if, if one breaks or, um, I think where you get trapped is you're moving into the shot instead of set and lift. Hey, that was a big timing nightmare. Do you feel it? No, not at all. Okay. She loops on her back swings. Loops. You don't have to do that with this system. You just uh, set the paddle low and lift. Let the magic angle do the work. <laughs> the magic angle. This way I'm set. I'm, I'm, I can really see that ball. Pancake shot, a skip hop shot, skip hop, lots of skip hop because my paddle's already on the ground. See that? If I try to get that with the timing thing, I mean, I could probably do it, but. Okay, so, so we're gonna add that in there. Every time you hit a shot, get your guard up. Shot, what's my click more? Shot shield, shot blocker, shot guard. It's looking real good right now, actually. That looks real good. does a lot of cut and not as much lift. 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 Down and lift. A lot of legs in this. So I get low and I lift. Skip hop. Skip hop. There, she did a nice skip hop. There it is. That's it right there. <laughs> yeah. Simple, huh? Yes. So we hit our shot and we get our block ready. Hit our shot guard. Hit our shot shield. I'll have to think of what works for, what clicks for people's brains. All right, so I hit my shot and I get my block ready. I'm always ready for the attack. At my level, that ball's coming back. I mean, all the time. So I hit my shot and I get ready. So that's what I like to do. Everything out in front of me in smaller, smaller movements. If I'm big movements and I hit a shot, I don't have time to get my guard back up because that thing's coming back at you. That's where I see. I set it and I can go through the shot and put my backspin on. Otherwise, I just set and lift. And my guard's ready. My block's ready. Skip hop. And I want you to watch my 
drop step. Drop step will save you. Drop step will save your bacon. Drop step, set the paddle, lift. Okay, let's work your way back. So three there, three resets. And it might be, that, that's you using that angle. It just went. Don't worry about the, let it arc. Oh, I was gonna rip it. Yeah, that's okay, rip it. But I'm trying to not rip it from there. That, you just let the ball do the work. Okay. The energy of the ball did the work because you had the magic angle. That's a perfect arc. That I just footwork. It's really footwork. Okay. Your timing was off. Drop step, clear some space. And then just a lot of movement and Yeah, try not to let that ball get really behind you. That's what this this drop step is pushing that ball, keeping it in front of me. If it gets behind me, I can still get it. Lift, lift. Pop up. So that's what she says in that. There's a movie where Paul Rudd is teaching surfing, and every time they do something wrong, they're just like, "Okay, pop up, pop up." So. When I say lift, that's her. Pop up, pop up. Uh, set it and lift. You're starting to dip. Yeah, not low enough. I'm not getting low. Yeah. So she's starting to dip that paddle because she's not using her legs. So then she's trying to force it, and then that's a timing nightmare. You're not going to be consistent. This whole thing's about consistency. Being consistent, being consistent, lift, get that thing up there. That's it right there. That was it. That was it. Yeah, squat and lift, squat and lift. And then you can do cool, nice back spins. They're very high percentage. Well, that wasn't the grip. That was your footwork. You, <laughs> your job is this. Yeah, and then blame the grip. Pop up. Pop up. Nice. So this, with this, um, the grip and the magic angle, you can get these, this really spinny balls because you're lifting. That's how you get like a spin or hard return. You got to lift it. Oh, that was good. And then we're trying to, hold on. The apex of your arc should be at the kitchen line here. So the apex is there and then it drops in. I mean, Riley Newman, he never misses a drop shot because they clear, he never hits a net because they're so arced. And then they got a little backspin which checks it up so it doesn't bounce up to get smashed. And as long as your partner is doing their job, if they see that drop shot's gonna bounce and this person's not taken out of the air, they should be in that person's face, in their face, cutting off the angle and the person who dropped can take their time coming up. Okay, so at the line, three, 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 three. And then we'll do the perfect four. Set the paddle, lift. And get your guard ready. <laughs> there you go, sassy. There, that was it right there. Time and I think I do. Yeah, yes, with this drop step, man, you got a lot of time. You can see somebody poaching. You can see where the hole is, you know. The right on the forehand, the right elbow is tucked. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, you left it though. I was trying to lull her. Lull. Okay, let's do some resets. Right in the middle. So I might give you a volley. I might give you a, there you go. Lift, set the paddle, lift. The drop step gets me behind that ball. The drop step gets me behind the ball and I lift. Now this one, I can just like tear it. See, it was like nothing to her there because she lifted out of that spin. Yep, look at that. Get that one. So, wasn't that easy? So it's me? Yes. It's the weight under lift. Weight under lift, what does that so mean? So wait for it to come down. Okay. Because maybe I'm used to hitting it on the up. Yeah, and a lot to skip hops, which I like skip hops when you have to. Yeah. But it's hard to control the distance with this that skip hop. Right. right. Yep. You're getting behind the ball. You're setting the paddle. You're lifting. And once you get this, then you can start moving your arc. That was perfect. And if if their partner is in front of me then I can't attack this ball. There. So I get behind the ball, I set my paddle, I lift it. There, she didn't even have to rip that hard. Okay, let's do drops, like five drops on each side. Well, let's do the, the perfect four. Because if somebody comes, we'll start playing. Perfect four. Okay, so the perfect four is Neither player wants to miss the first four shots. You got to serve in a third, and you got to return in a soft four to the feet. Unless it's attackable, like really attackable. One, two, and then I drop pretty high. So, okay, good. And she hit a four to the feet. She did not give this person a volley. That's the key. And we do five. Nice. Three. There. So in the drill, if they give you a bad fourth, go ahead and rip it at them. Four. Yep, that is, it's unattackable. She needs to chip and charge and be up there. So the return is a chip and charge, right? So we're just, we're actually hitting it on the run, on the return. We're chipping it and keeping our momentum all the way. That's the one time we're hitting the ball while moving. The rest we are. So she gave me a floater there. So go ahead and attack that just to show that, hey, it was too deep. Okay, chip and charge. Uh, good enough. That person might want to attack it, but then the partner's getting it. Okay, chip and charge. Okay, that's not perfect. She was testing something there. Chip and charge. There you go. And then see how I just, I just set my paddle in the magic ankle right there and the ball just popped up over. I didn't have to do anything. If they're kind of out in front of me, I just do the magic angle and let it chip off, chip off the shot and it goes over, perfect. This one I'm gonna bail out lob. Ooh, that wasn't perfect. She let me know that since I sassed her. So that's my bailout lob. It is pretty windy coming at me. But that one, see the bailout lob is how I show it. I get real low and I lift it. And then I just, so she put it too high. She gave this person a volley. And typically you're going back to where the ball came from. Okay, last one. You're going back to server, you're going back to dropper. 
They're the ones moving. Okay, bailout lob. It was just such a good return. It was perfect. Yep, perfect return. What's up, Greg? I guess not. When we get a fourth, we'll come play. We only have like a short window and we got to go to Vegas. We got our, our son's doing some private lessons, basketball lessons in Las Vegas today. So that's pretty cool. We get a little trip, we're gonna eat some nice sushi. And this is last year, you know, senior year. So this is the time for him to get his scholarships. Okay, chip in charge. Oh, footwork. But her, her serve gives me fit. Great. Yeah, she's not jamming herself, trying to catch, skip hop everything. This drop step gives you that extra time. The drop step is important in my system. Perfect. I see everything going well. So we clear space with that drop step. Magic angle, move the pedal through space. Uh, I feel you're swinging at it. I'm trying to get... Because basically she's here. She's here instead of here. But it was good and you're going to adapt to your style. But right now let's force it. Chip and charge. And you're doing ping pong grip, huh? No. And why are you doing continental? Because I feel like I have more control from back here, and then I'll switch when I get to the line. Okay, I think that'll change, but we'll see. Right now it's perfect. So she's doing continental, which you can do. I, it looked like the perfect angle, the magic angle. So people are gonna come into this system with a great continental grip that they can have that angle. So we're not gonna change it. But she originally did start with the ping pong grip and was like, you couldn't attack her at all. And then she went to the two handed grip, but she could get flicked at. Chip and charge. Yeah, that, <laughs> yes. So she makes it here and then she has to time it. And if you haven't done Years and years of tennis drills. Man, what a nightmare. Timing nightmare. Where I just said it. Said it and forget it, right? That old commercial. That was it, man. That was, it, it was the right angle for, for sure. And see how it popped up? No effort. Yeah. It came a little far, but you'll get it. Because you... Yep, and four to the feet. So now you got to follow that third. If it bounces, I thought we were doing four. Oh, you want me to get up there? Okay, gotcha. One. I was stopping. Sorry. Yeah, so we're getting bad habits that way. So she needs to move as far up on this third until she sees this person hitting. So she made it all the way to the line there because she had a good deep. She had a great third. Okay, we'll just keep going. So you do five each side? Okay, so let's play skinny, skinny dink drill. The dink game, I call it, but just with singles. So the dink game is one of my main drills. It's what I normally use for warm up. How do you like that paddle? It's the first time for her using that paddle too. So the paddle's heavy enough 
to let the paddle do the work. A lot of people with light paddles, they have to, they have to be the engine where I let the momentum of this ball be the engine and I just let it hit off my paddle in the magic angle, right? Holster, lay it over, I'm in the magic angle. So today's Sunday, normally these courts are full on um, every day, but it's Sunday. Okay, so we stay on our own score and we play. Okay? Yeah, so zero, zero. Okay. Yep. So in the, the fish shot, the serve is one, two, three, four, and always the server person has the first attack if they do attack. So, so one, two, three, four, five. I could attack that, but, but you got to play in their own court. So she attacked and was too slow to get her guard up. So we want to, when we play, we want ever, all attacks out in front of us. Cat paws, short, backhand, because I'm ready to go. If all my attacks are big, I'm not ready for the comeback. Uh, one zero. Okay, so this is my fifth, I can attack. That was good, she used me, kind of chicken wing me, used me as a rebounder, didn't overdo it, and just waited for me to pop it up. And then she attacked. Yep, zero one. So I hit the shot, I'm back. That's my attack, back. So she did something funky. She tried to roll that, but if you would have just pushed through it, yep. it would have worked. Okay, one zero. So there is some different attacks with this, this grip and style, but they're pretty safe. And if you grip too tight, the ball will bounce too much. So my grip is super loose. Like a baby bird of a baby bird. So she didn't quite move. Right. So then if you don't have it, your brain's going to say, oops, you don't have enough energy. And it'll make you do something. It'll jerk it. And then it does weird shit. Three, zero. There. She, she didn't have the angle and she moved in to the angle. And she got ready. She got low. So I'm just testing. There she yep. made it and then cranked it over flat. Yep. You felt it though. Yep. So the thing with my system, if I can get you to self-diagnose and I can get you to feel it, you can fix it. Oh yeah. Okay, four zero. Uh, that was pretty flat. And she wasn't low. Low, set the paddle lift. Set the paddle lift. So that's just, with this game, that's open a lot. Because normally you don't protect that because your partner's protecting. But I let it happen in this one because I want people to watch paddle angles. Because there I had my paddle angle open and I flicked it. Are you leaving? Well, it don't look like no one's showing up. Oh, somebody will show. I'll give them 10 minutes. All right, or just come drill with us. You can come warm up. What? We're just playing the dink game. Okay, that was good. She's doing the angle. Let me see if I she'll pancake. Let me get her to pancake. That's like, and then see, I want everybody to notice I get, when I really think I'm gonna get attacked, I get my paddle out here. It's like a soccer goalie. A little flat, you didn't lift it. Yep. You didn't push it or lift it. You yep. tried to wrist it. Yep. So, 
Oh, that was good. She got me. Oh, this is strange, huh? Okay, so dink game, but you guys have to play in my court. Okay. And we'll just kind of rotate around. Okay. Okay, zero, zero. Two, three, four. That was a nice. Yeah. So I saw her go middle, cover middle. Where in this game, you have a partner, so you don't have to do that so much. Uh, one, zero. Does that make you mad? <laughs> so that time, I know Greg hides his backhand. So if I do two or three backhands to him, he's inched over all the way to the line. That leaves a shot. Two zero. So I just move it within these. Within there. No, I missed it. We could get Sue to come play too. She's not bad. Okay. Yeah. Zero, four, I think. So that's the pancake. I think Greg's almost impossible to get there. Oh, no. Nope, wrong side. So it's got to go to my side because I'm the single. So it's just a practice game. Just warm up. And sometimes this is the most dinks you get all day. So I want to go back in there, back in, and now I'm going to go forehand. Here's somebody. Oh, no. Well, we'll have to. This is the only chance he gets to play with me because I don't ever invite him, you know? Did I score? Okay, 5-0. So it just kind of laid up. I moved it with that magic angle so it doesn't hit the net. Six zero. So practice your squats and movements, babe. It's easy to start getting upright on these games. Nope. I mean, that would be the right shot, but. Mario, you wanna play? We need fourth. He says, that's why I'm here. That drop step. Let's see if I can get her. <laughs> All right, warm Mario up a bit, Greg, while we get a drink or something. Here we go. Okay, so that's, so we're gonna try to focus on drilling at least 30 minutes and then playing. And we only have a short window to play. Okay, so make sure you hit that like button. I see a text from Gordon, but I can't read it while I'm, unless this microphone's not working. That would suck. Okay, let me get, shut this off. I'll read Gordon's text and then I will uh, start again.